Let's get to do the uh, event before I forget. I'm like a freaking idiot. Oh, either way. <laughs> Didn't do an intro, but my brain couldn't instinctively do it. Because I think I would have to get used to doing an intro for a video. So, pardon my jump to it. No need to intro the video, <laughs> just jump right to it. So, whatever. Anyway, I've, I've been busy. So, yeah. Oh. Well, let's shut up now. Let me just confirm. Yes, all tasks on the checklist are complete. Traveler, Paimon, we are grateful for your assistance. Thank goodness you were able to come as soon as we contacted you. Who knows how we would have coped with all these commissions otherwise. The last couple of days have been pretty busy, but it was all super easy stuff, like delivering and escorting goods. When we heard that you were short on people, we thought we were going to be in for another long and drawn-out adventure. Being the seasoned adventurers that you are, it's true that you are suited to work of a much higher caliber than your recent assignments. However, this situation is unavoidable in Mondstadt at this time of year. Probably because it's harvest season? That's right. This is the ideal season for harvesting crops and fruits. And for the wine capital of Tavat, it's also the all-important winemaking season. Farmers are anxious to sell off their fresh produce, and all the major wine merchants are seeking to purchase top-quality ingredients to make new product. Ah, well no wonder we keep hearing people talking about wine these days. Huh? What do you mean? Seriously? Yes, I swear I'm not making this up. The acting grandmaster wants everyone to gather at headquarters in the main hall. Hurry! We need to leave right now or we'll be late! Hey, w wait up! Uh, why do those two knights look so... flustered? Well, hello there. If it isn't the Traveler and Paimon. What a rare pleasure. Kaya! Just the person we need! Um, why is everyone running off to the Knights of Favonius headquarters all of a sudden? Is our help required too? <laughs> Don't worry. This isn't one of those occasions where you need to come to everyone's rescue. All that's happened is that the Knights of Favonius have just received a letter from the Grand Master. Acting Grand Master Jean will be convening a meeting in the main hall shortly to go through it. Well, that's a relief. Wait, hold on a second. What did you say again? A letter from the Grand Master. The Grand Master of the Knights of Favonius? That's... Isn't that Varka? The leader of that legendary expedition? So, what did Varka say in the letter? How's the expedition going? When are they getting back? Oh, so interested in our Grand Master all of a sudden? Never knew you were such a gossip. It's only normal, isn't it's because it? Because we've never heard the man. you'd be curious too or if there was someone you'd heard loads about but never met. Even Master Jean says Point he's a living proven. legend. Oh, pretty hard not to get hyped up after hearing that. Besides, the expedition has been going on for <laughs> ages. And we still never heard a single thing about what they're up to. <laughs> The acting Grandmaster is very gracious in her appraisal. Varka brought quite a bit of trouble to those around him on the road to becoming a legend. I'll have to tell you about it sometime. Anyway, since this has piqued your interest, why don't you join me at headquarters? And we'll see what the letter says. We do miss our honorary knight, after all. It's been quite a long time since your last visit. Sure! Let's go and see what it's all about. Bye, Catherine! Okay. All right, take care now. <laughs> okay, there's a long silence there. Also, I couldn't help but laugh at just the camera panning, showing her in the background. I'm just thinking in my head, I love that. <laughs> just like, why? Why was the camera needed to have that wide shot? 
Uh, whatever. I ain't gonna question it. Alright. Let's see what, what the letter has to say. like just about everyone's here. Hey there, cutie. Paimon. I didn't know you two would be coming. So you heard about the letter? Yep. We ran into Kaya near the Adventurers Guild. Oh, wow. Paimon's never seen so many people in the main hall at once before. Oh, Paimon's getting kind of nervous now. <laughs> Don't get too carried away, all right? If I know the Grand Master, the fact that he has the time to be writing letters means it's probably nothing serious. It certainly won't be bad news. Kaya's exaggerating a little, but otherwise I agree. After all, Mika's not the kind of person who'd be able to keep it hidden if something were the matter. The truth would be written all over his face. Mika? Who's that? Over there, look. The kid standing next to Jean in front of the staircase? He used to be a land surveyor in Eula's team. He's very talented in what he does, and a very reliable person. When the expedition team set out, the Grand Master appointed him to be the core member of the frontline team. He's the one that brought back the letter. Please, may I have your attention, everyone? Now that we're all here, let's begin reading out the letter from the Grand Master. <clears throat> Mika, please, go ahead. Y Yes, Master Jean. Uh, right. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. I am Mika, surveyor of the Reconnaissance Company. Uh, recently, I have been taking part in an assignment with the expedition team. I will now be reading Grandmaster Varka's letter aloud for you all. <clears throat> To the Knights of Favonius. Greetings, everyone. This is Varka. The first thing I want to say to you all is please put your minds at ease. The expedition is safe, and all of its members are accounted for. Oh, that's fantastic news. <sighs> My palms are sweating. <sighs> um, may I continue? Go ahead, Mika. All right. Now that your fears are allayed, I trust you'll be ready to listen to the rest of my letter. I'm writing to you from the northernmost reaches of Tevat by the light of a stove. The expedition forces are stationed here while we restock. I once told you that the purpose of this expedition was related to a dangerous secret from days long past. I am still unable to disclose more than this, but suffice to say that you needn't worry about how our mission is progressing. In the past couple of months, we received an unexpected visitor. The Fatui Harbinger known as the captain. Uh, the captain? Oh boy. I am fully aware of the Fatui's outrageous actions in Mondstadt in recent history. Nevertheless, the captain was not hostile towards us on this occasion. Open parenthesis. I rather suspect that's because this time, Snezhnaya and we are in the same boat. Close parenthesis. <laughs> the man hides everything under the mask he wears, so no one can know his past or his origins. However, one thing is for sure. He is as hard as iron for having the courage to challenge gods as an ordinary mortal. I don't doubt that he could even take out a ruin guard by stabbing it in its big, glowing eye with one of Klee's crayons. Open parenthesis, don't get any ideas. 
close parenthesis. Our scouts have confirmed that the captain received orders to head for Natlon three days ago. We'll be able to sleep much better now that we don't need to worry about him anymore. I will admit that some of his actions have helped us, but even then, he owed us at least that much. This year's Vinelaza Fest must be kicking off in Mondstadt any day now. What a great pity that this year, once again, we will be unable to spend the festival together. Everyone here is always thinking back fondly upon the fine wines of Mondstadt, as well as the happy times we have spent with each and every one of you. I hope that you and all the citizens of Mondstadt enjoy the festival to the fullest. Have a few drinks on our behalf. The Dawn Winery's limited edition Vine Laser Fest seasonal special will do nicely. May Lord Barbados bless Mondstadt, and may the wind carry our sentiments back to your side. Varka. P.S. If you're wondering who's tougher between me and the captain, well, I'm the Grand Master. There are ten captains in the Knights of Favonius, but only one Grand Master. Ah, ha, 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 ha. His left, not mine. The letter ends <laughs> here. Thank you, everyone, for your attention. Thank you, Mika. Master Jean, um, I just noticed that there's something else written on the back of the last page. <clears throat> P.P.S. I ran out of paper, so I'll add this here. Lisa, the following is a message for you. Uh, oh, uh, this part seems to be from the Grand Master to Miss Lisa. Oh, for me? Uh, seeing that it's a special message, Lisa, we'll discuss this in private. Everyone, as the Grand Master mentioned in his letter, the Vinelisa Fest is in just a few days. And how fortunate we are at this time to receive word that all is well with the expedition. Though they are unable to return to Mondstadt and spend the festival with us, the Vinelisa Fest will nonetheless be a major event that all of Mondstadt is looking forward to. I hope that everyone will guard your stations and perform your duties, both for our far-flung colleagues involved in the expedition and also for the hardworking people of Mondstadt. And of course, during your time off, I hope you will be able to rest, relax, and enjoy this long-awaited festival. That brings our meeting to a close. Dismissed. Did Paimon hear that right? They ran into the Fatui's captain? Hmm... Who knows what that was about, but it must have been important. But, uh, Fatui Shmatui! The real big deal here is the Vine Lisa Fest. Sounds like there'll be loads of free food and drink! Paimon wants to hear more! Typical Paimon. Hey, cuties. How about we go and chat with Jean? You didn't get a chance to say a proper hello with so many people here. Let me just fix something real quick. Where is it? Where is There. I just don't know why that just looked like a little too bright. Hey, Mika. Uh, uh, <laughs> hi there. Um, you must be looking for Captain Kaya? Please, don't mind me. I just wanted to say hi. Oh, uh, wait, but what? Oh, jeez, Captain Kaya, wh what should I say? <laughs> oh, Mika, how have you not changed one bit after being on the front line this long? You were just asking me about the Storm Terror incident, weren't you? Well, allow me to introduce you to the legendary Honorary Knight. That's right, and also the... 
<laughs> Hi there. You guys are so strong. I'm... I'm in awe. Um... I have to go and report in with Captain Eula now. Please excuse me. <laughs> Aww, he just left. Well, that's too bad. Paimon was going to ask him all about the expedition. That is a pity, it really is. But don't take it the wrong way. The way he sees it, every pair of eyes in Mondstadt is focused squarely on you. Give it some time, and this will all sort itself out. Next time you see him, I'm sure you'll get along just fine. In fact, let me share a little secret with you. Try talking to him about exploring the wild. You'll win his trust in no time. Here. I guess, is that them subtly hinting a Eula rerun? Ah, oh, Lisa. The Grandmaster's letter is just on the table. Traveler, Paimon, it's been a long time. Apologies, I didn't get the chance to talk with you during the meeting just now. If you don't have any plans in the immediate future, why not stay in Mondstadt for a while? We'll be celebrating the Vine Lesa Fest very soon. Don't be deceived. Jean may appear very composed, but she's been missing you both terribly recently. <sighs> Lisa. <laughs> I'll leave you to catch up. I'm going to read my letter. I've missed everyone as well. Yeah! Mondstadt's where our journey began, after all. We have a lot of fond memories here. Um, <laughs> Master Jean, neither of us really knows anything about this Vine Lysa Fest. Could you tell us more about it? <laughs> yes, of course. The Vine Lysa Fest is an ancient Mondstadt festival, just like Ludi Harpastum and Windbloom. In addition, Thanks. it's the most important part of the fall. Each fall, the west wind blows in Mondstadt. Legend has it that the wonderful scent of Mondstadt's winemaking during the harvest season entices even the animal archon into attendance, being the great wine lover that he is. No matter where he is, he will transform into a soft breeze and return to his homeland. <sighs> yeah, that sounds like the Animal Archon, all right. For this reason, Mondstatters call the Western Wind the Returning Wind. The Vinlesa Fest originally began as a celebration to welcome Lord Barbados on his return. In the past, every household would brew fresh wine around this time of year and keep it sealed at least until wind-coming day during the following year's Vinlesa Fest. Uncasking the sealed wine is a symbolic way of inviting the Animo Archon to share a drink. Legend holds that if the Animo Archon is satisfied with the taste of the wine, he will summon a gentle breeze to richly bless the people. Should we bless? How? Knowing him, it was probably blessing them with more good wine the next year. That's a good question. Huh. But there's really no way of knowing. These are very old stories. Many of the details have been lost to time. Including wind. Yep, that'll happen. Some stories change completely as they get passed down. Hence why these days, Mondstatters will get into endless arguments over what kind of flower a wind bloom is. Hmm. All part of how cultural heritage is created. Indeed. But for the time being, at least, the tradition of paying tribute to the Animo Archon on Windcoming Day is still alive and well, and the Vine Lesa Fest remains a time for Mondstatters to share the joy of the harvest with one another as they partake of fine wines. This is a time of the year when many Mondstatters living away from Mondstadt return to their hometown. For those unable to return, Vinlesa Fest is the period when they miss their family and friends most keenly. Oh, so that's why the Grandmaster wrote, May the wind carry our sentiments back to your side. For this year, we've joined forces with the Church of Favonius and the Adventurers Guild to host a celebration on the banks of Cider Lake, just outside of Springvale. There will also be a traditional wine market during the festival period. Wine market? Well, originally, it was simply a place where winemakers and farmers would come to trade in raw ingredients for winemaking. These days, it is a much grander affair. 
Not only will you find a range of choice wines, but seasonal fruit beverages and food items for everyone to enjoy too. A lot of people also sell secondhand goods and handicrafts at the market. The Knights of Favonius plan to use this as an opportunity to do some fundraising for needy children and elderly people in the city. Wow, sounds pretty cool! If you have the time, I encourage you to take a look around. I hope you'll find it a worthwhile experience. Um, now, Lisa, what was the Grand Master's message to you about? I was just about to bring that up. The Grand Master says he wants me to handle something for him. Something to do with Razor's past. Razor's past. Please, uh, further detail on that Razor one? Razor told us that he was raised by a pack of wolves and wolfing them. He never knew his parents. In his own words, the wolf pack is his lupica, which means family. Yes, that was as much as I knew as well. But in his letter, the Grand Master says that in the cabinet above the third bookshelf, to the right of the grandfather clock in Jean's office, there's a wooden box containing some items that Razor's parents left for him. He says it's time to give the box to Razor. Does this mean the Grand Master knew Razor's parents? It would seem so. The Grand Master didn't simply run into Razor one day in Wolvendom and teach him how to use a sword. No. The connection between them goes back much further. Wow! Well, come on! Let's go find Razor! He'll be pretty excited to find out something about his true parents! Hmm... I'm on. Hold your horses. Oh, cutie. Nothing escapes your eyes, does it? For the child who never met their biological parents, this kind of conversation is always a difficult one. Even for the most well-adjusted. By contrast, Razor grew up in Wolvendom and has had very limited contact with human society. Who knows whether he's ready for this or not? I'm sure the Grand Master will have given due consideration to Razor's circumstances. Perhaps he felt that now would be the most appropriate time. Hmm, that's a good point. Okay, cuties, can I leave you to break the news to Razor? Oh, great. He thinks of me as his teacher, so he might not open up to me if he gets upset. But you are his trusted friends. I think it makes more sense for him to hear about this from you. Don't worry. Leave this to us. Thank you, sweetie. Try to be as encouraging as you can. Someone his age needs all the love and support they can get. Is there something else you would like to discuss? Who cares about Mika? Mika tells me that rather than rejoining the expedition party, Grandmaster told him to return to his post in Eula's reconnaissance company after delivering the letter. Land surveyors are usually situated in the vanguard of an army on the move and are tasked with exploring previously uncharted territory. Huh, it looks like the expedition must have entered into a much less intense phase. Have you had the chance to speak with Mika yet? When he's with people he hasn't met before, he tenses up and stands bolt upright. <laughs> I really wish he had a little more self-confidence. Is there something else you would like to discuss? Who cares about the expedition? It was good of Mika to bring the letter back all this way. Knowing that everyone is safe and sound is the best encouragement I could ask for. Still, I hadn't counted on the captain making an appearance. The Grand Master has a rather... Uh, unconventional way of describing things. But even then, I've never heard him give such high recognition to anyone before. If you ever encounter the captain on your own journey, be on your guard. He is not someone to be underestimated. I think we all know that one. Is there something else you would like to discuss? Goodbye. I would... Give us one. As his teacher, I have a duty to give him the best education and guidance that I can. I'll make sure I'm prepared by the time you get back. Go on now, cuties. I'll leave Razor in your hands. Mm. All right. Hmm. Well, that's definitely them. Razor's usually around Wolvendom, right? Uh... <laughs> Stuff with them hinting at, yeah, hinting at Mika being playable soon. 
very curious now what's going on with the expedition. All right, wolf boy, where are you? Hey, look, it's a hunting trap. Oh, great, mm. not this again. It looks like the ones that the hunters from Springfield use. Huh? What is it? There are traces of electro energy near the trap. Electro energy? Hmm. Paimon wonders if it could be Razor. But Paimon thought he was pretty good at avoiding the hunters. Well, anyway, let's follow the traces of electro and see where they lead. Traces lead deep into woven them. Let's keep going. Okay. Uh -oh. Razor! Are you there? All right. The last trap has been set. Razor, thanks for coming with me all this way. Okay. It's okay. My legs are strong. Hmm? What is it, Razor? It smells familiar. Friend. From far away. Razor! Oh, and it's Draft too. Are you two hunting together? Yes. It's almost harvest season, and the boars are venturing into the towns and wineries looking for food. They're trampling crops and destroying the vineyards. Someone could get seriously hurt. The Knights of Favonius came to us asking for help, keeping the boars a safe distance away from the population. I and Uncle Browncat catch boars, protect everyone. Wow, Razor! This is a big step for you. Paimon remembers you used to hide away from the hunters. <laughs> you can say that again. Razor was the star of the show this time. He let the wolves know we'd be coming, so we were able to get through Wolvendom without anyone getting hurt. Helping everyone, helping Lupacall, makes me happy. <sighs> but much talking. Very tired now. Still, it's a sign of progress. Yeah! But, um, actually, we came here today because we have some really important news. Oh, I don't know. Razor, do you mean you don't want to know about your real parents? I want to know, but don't want to know. Uh, so you do want to know, but at the same time you don't want to know? Ugh, sounds complicated. Traveler, come and take a look at the trap I just placed. Let's give Razor some space to process things. Seems like you have something to say. Uh, yes, I have some thoughts about this after seeing how Razor reacted. We've been hunting together a lot recently. The kid might not talk much, but still, I feel like I've come to understand him a little over the time we've spent together. Here's what I think. He definitely wants to find out about his parents. It's just that uh, his fear of the unknown is overwhelming everything else he's feeling. I'm a father myself, so I know a thing or two about kids. You know, when Diana was little, if I got back late from a hunt one night, she'd be watching me like a hawk for days afterwards, as if she was worried that I might abandon her. Do you mean Razor's worried that he was abandoned by his own parents? Exactly. I think that's the heart of it. And if it turns out they did, well, I don't think there's anything we could say to console him. That's not my only concern, though. Razor is developing at his own pace. There are lots of issues that can't be solved all in one go, but he's making progress, one step at a time. But now this thing with his parents is added into the mix. It might push him to want to figure out once and for all where he comes from and where he's going. Seems like a similar take to Lisa's. Hmm. Maybe all mature adults think like this, huh? Wait, but... 
Then again, Master Jean had a different view. She said it's more about trusting other people and in your own instincts. <sighs> what do you think? I'll be there for him as a friend through this. Gotcha. Well, knowing that he's got a friend like you to rely on makes me feel much better about this whole thing. Wait a minute. How about this? <laughs> I imagine either one. Okay, is, uh, got it. Right. Let's head back. We don't want to keep him waiting. Hey, Razor. So... What are your thoughts? Still thinking. My heart, it feels strange. Like being stabbed by a wolf hook. What do you think of Varka? Varka? Hmm. Tall, very strong, likes to laugh. Then do you trust Varka? Yes, trust. He's very good to me. Give me a name. Teach me to fight. But now... Busy with important work. I miss him. You know, Razor, Varka used up all the paper writing this letter, but he still made sure he found room on the back to add a note for Elisa. He specifically told her to give you the things that your parents left for you. That means that he thinks the items have a special meaning for you. But more importantly than that, whatever happens, the Traveler, Paimon, Lisa, and all your other friends will always be here for you. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. That's right. And old Uncle Brown Cat's here to support you as well. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, I decide... To laugh out of me. I want to go with you. To see Teacher. <laughs> That's the spirit, kiddo. Well, you folks better be heading off, then. I'm just about finished here, so I'll be heading home very shortly myself. <sighs> I'd better try and get plenty of father-daughter time in before the, uh, fine laser fest starts. <laughs> Bye, Draft! See you again next time! That game, that nickname made me crack up into laughter. Oops. Never. Ah, this music. God, I've heard Monstead's music in quite a long time. In a one. Excuse me. Alright, what's in the box? Lisa! We brought Razor! Hello, teacher. I'm here to see the box. Ah, oh, my little wolf cub's in a good mood. I'm assuming they've discussed the whole story with you already? Here, this is it. The wooden box. I haven't touched it, except for taking it out of the cabinet. When you're sure you're ready, you can open it yourself. Yes, I am sure. Oh, this is just a pile of junk. Paimon thought there'd at least be a letter or something. Uh-oh. You don't think that after all this time, Varka might be getting mixed up between different boxes? <laughs> there is a scent. A scent? What kind? A scent I remember from a long, long time ago. It's their scent. Human scent. Father and mother scent. Oh, incredible. You still remember scents from all the way back in your childhood. Wow. You have a really good sense of smell, Razor. Guess being wild by nature has its advantages. Oh, let's see what other leads we can find. Hmm. This woolen hand puppet looks kind of wonky. Guess it must be handmade, huh? Is this a part from a ruin guard? Wait! Hey, look! 
This wine bottle is still half full. And there's a note stuck on it. Thousand. Uh, Thousand Wind Wine. Oh, so it's a bottle of Thousand Wind Wine? Teacher, you know? Of course. Thousand Wind Wine was the first kind of wine that Mondstadters ever learned to make, or so they say. As to how it got its name, some say it's a reference to the numerous ingredients used to make it, while others say it's because every bottle tastes slightly different. I remember reading somewhere that there are all sorts of weird and wonderful ways of brewing it, and that it's very difficult to ensure it comes out tasting the same each time. This all makes it impractical to commercialize. Wine merchants are much more comfortable working with reliable, consistent-tasting products. That's why you'll almost never see Thousand Wind wine in the markets or taverns. Huh. In fact, it looks like your parents brewed this bottle themselves. That must mean there's something pretty important about it. <gasps> oh, Paimon has an idea! Razor, you got a good nose. Why don't you open it up and take a whiff? Maybe it'll tell you something. Okay. That sounds like a terrible idea. Huh. He seems really in the zone. And is that a smile? Find anything? Sweet. Cold. A little bitter. I like. Many things all mixed together. Ugh, but things in wine smell different. Even you can't tell what it is, Razor? I will try again. Uh-oh. <sighs> it's okay, Razor. Don't push yourself too hard. What do we do when we try something and it doesn't work? Try another way. That's right. You still remember what I taught you. Oh, it's almost the Vine Lisa Fest. Everyone who knows anything worth knowing about wine will be gathering in Mondstadt. Surely someone will know a thing or two about Thousand Wind Wine. Oh, great idea! Will Venti be coming? Hmm. Make sure you don't miss the opening ceremony, cutie. Everyone will be there. Razor, you should go too. It'll be a good opportunity to ask around. Okay. Ask many people. I will try. Don't worry. We'll be right there with you. We can be your go-betweens. You know, like you were with the wolves for draft. We'll be there with you, just like we promised. Okay. Then I will go back now. I need to tell Lupacall about human mother and human father. Great! See you at the opening ceremony! Mm. As Razor's teacher, I'm so happy to see him taking this first step. And you must be tired from running around trying to find Razor. Why don't you rest here a while? I'll make you a nice cup of tea. Osmanthus wine taste. Two days later. Oh my Same. god, not this. Not this. Stupid nonsense. a nice place thank you everyone for your patience i am pleased to announce that this year's vine lesa fest has officially begun 
We hope the residents of Mondstadt and visitors from all over will enjoy the magnificent wines and experience the joy of the harvest. When wind coming day arrives, we will hold a grand toasting ceremony to welcome the Animo Archon Barbados back home. Let the wind lead. Let the wind lead. Razor, you're here already. <sighs> so many people. Come on, let's sneak out of here. There's someone we gotta find. Find? Uh, who? Just some tone deaf bard. But he's also a know-it-all and loves nothing more than drinking, so he might actually be able to help. <laughs> Appreciate not beating around the bush there. Just being straightforward with it. Hey, tone deaf bard! It's been a while. Traveler, Paimon, how do you do? <laughs> I had a feeling I'd run into you soon, during this most enchanting of festivals. Spoken like a true poet. <laughs> hmm. But reading between the lines here, if one bottle is tipsy and two is merry, just how many is enchanting exactly? Too many. <laughs> oh, don't say that. This festival has so much more to offer than just drinking. Anyway, hey, Razor. How have you been? Please tell me he doesn't... He just answers with confusion. All right. I have a question. Yeah, Razor has something he wants to ask you about. Know anything about Thousand Wind Wine? Ooh, now there's a name that takes me back. <laughs> Let me think. How long has it been since I last heard someone mention Thousand Wind Wine? Razor's parents left him a box with a half bottle of wine inside, and there's a label on it that says Thousand Wind Wine. We heard there's a lot of history behind this type of wine, and the brewing methods go way, way back. So we figured you'd be a good person to ask. It smells good, but don't know what's inside. I see, I see. So you want to know how Thousand Wind Wine is made? Well, you came to the right person. I happen to know a little rhyme called... Well, as it happens, Thousand Wind Wine. I was going to save it for wind coming day, but far be it from me to deny an early serenade to a friend in need. How about it? Shall I recite it for you? <laughs> a song. Not easy to understand, but still one to hear. Excellent answer. Then, uh, hear it you shall. Fill up the barrels and store them away. Then wait, wait for a windier day. Wax the bottles, seal them tight, for the south wind that soothes, for the north wind that bites. How does this fine wine taste to the tongue? As Mondstadt to the ear, like a sweet dream of freedom. And what are the fruits that went into the brew? An explorer's courage, a love tender and true. A defender's will, strong as yesteryear, joining the thousand winds in a song of good cheer. Turning sour into sweet, bitter notes fade away as we wait, wait for a windier day. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for the applause. Uh, was the rhyme of help to you? Like wine. A little sweet, but now, head spinning. Don't understand. Mm. Understandable. Don't worry, it's not just you. That was supposed to be about winemaking, but it didn't give a single detail about the process. <laughs> well, maybe it's a little abstract and romanticized, but that's one of the defining features of Mondstadt poetry. Okay, so let's try to pin this down. What did the poem say the ingredients are? Hmm... Um... An explorer's courage, a love tender and true, a defender's will, and... the thousand winds? Song of good cheer? Nope, 
Paimon has absolutely no idea what any of these refer to. Look, Tone Deaf Bard, you clearly know what the whole thing means, so could you do us a favor and at least give us a hint? You misunderstand me. I'm not trying to make you work for it or anything, but the lyrics are what they are. If there's anything they left out, even I can't fill in the blanks. If you want to know the secret behind this sweet scent, you might have to start by rolling up your sleeves. Yep. Rolling up our sleeves? You mean we need to go and make this wine for ourselves? And somehow that'll teach us everything we want to know? Uh, this better not be a prank! We've known each other for so long, and you still don't trust my intentions? Oh, oh the pain. I trust. I want to try. I want to make wine and find answers. If I know how to make wine, then I know what is in father and mother's wine. By reliving their actions, maybe we will understand. Right. I want to know about them. Well, if you say so, Razor, guess we'll have to take Tone Deaf Bard's word on this one. We'll give it a try. And as first-time winemakers, there's no shame if it turns out bad. Don't worry, really. Freedom is the key here. It's not as hard as you might think. As long as you add ingredients to the mix in a spirit of joy and sincerity, I promise you will reap the rewards you wish for. Hmm. I will tell Poem to teach her. Then I need to think alone. That's the spirit. So how about we meet again in two days? Let's say same place right here? Okay. I will remember. See you then. Mm. Sounds from afar. Where? Oh, that is beautiful artwork. are made for transferring commodities back and forth. Let's go and browse while we still have a chance. I'll also quickly do some of this stuff, because I'm curious. Academia student doing all the way over here. Forest bar now. Hmm. They've gone together. Disappear into the woods. <laughs> I like this response just because it's pretty much is a great. Summarizes everything. Solution for you, trouble for me, I'll bet. So, what do you need our help with? I've been appearing very recently, and there aren't of us hunters to deal with them. Now, I guess I'll just capture them, basically.
This new friend Samira wants to join too, but judging by his feeble look, he's not physical. Thank you, game. Why do you want to join the hunt? That's, yeah, that's a interesting question. Gee, what creature of legend could that be? Let's do this for specific research. Alright, time to catch some forest boars. I'm ready. Let's go. Go to the character screen. This is a weird challenge on there. When I saw this, I was like, okay, this looks interesting. But now it just seems a little weird. Alright, just do the story now. But I just love this image. It's adorable. This is adorable. the event story the activity stuff I can do it later I might just do it off stream or off stream bleh. 
not included in the recording. Off screen. Uh, God, I haven't streamed in a while, and I need to. But I'm trying to deal with some internet stuff first. You know, life. We all have to deal with it. It's almost time. Let's go meet up with Razor. Stop climbing the tree. The meeting spot is on the bank of Cider Lake. You know the way, right? Guild, the Church of Avonius. Huh? Are you saying that it has something to do with Mondstadt's institutions? Yes, as for the word defender. Wow, that actually makes a surprising amount of sense. So the poem wasn't talking about any specific ingredients after all. More like the general gist. Now that you mention it, it just so happens that all the institutions you mentioned are organizers of the Violaza Fest! Wait! This is way too big of a coincidence! That Toad Death Bard, did he just make all this up on the spot? Perhaps he did as a way of helping us to help raise her. In that case, the last part about the Thousand Winds Song of Cheer must be code for the toasting ceremony! Oh, <laughs> now we're cooking! We'll crack your riddle recipe yet, Tone Death Bard! When Razor gets here, let's visit all the places you mentioned and talk to some people we know there. We definitely should be able to find some more clues that way. Miss Honorary Knight! Aww. I'm sorry. I'm late. That's alright. We were just chatting. The Traveler's pretty smart, so thanks to her, we're finally on to something! Hello, Clee and Razor. Hi. I was on my way, then I saw Clee. They let me out for Vine Lisa Fest! <laughs> <laughs> Albedo is super busy helping Timaeus fix his recipe mm. for an extra strong sobriety potion, <laughs> so he doesn't have time to come play with me right now. <laughs> I'm just playing by myself instead. Oh god, sorry. But it's so cool! All the grown-ups in Mondstadt are out to celebrate the festival! Everyone's smiling and having loads of fun! <laughs> I wanted to join in too, so I made a whole bunch of stuff so I can celebrate with everyone in my very own way. I hope those are explosive. Very own way? Uh-oh. This does not bode well coming from Glee. Mm-mm. Nope. And that's when I bumped into Razor. Whew. Bomb crisis averted. Whew. Razor was acting kind of different than usual. Like he was thinking about something. So I asked him what happened. And then Razor said that he was looking for his mommy. <laughs> I did not say mommy. Oh, it's okay, silly. Mommies are important people, so finding your mommy is a super important job. That's why Clee's gonna come help. <sighs> oh, my... Uh, Razor! Hey, Razor! 
Finally, I found you. Bennett? Oh, <laughs> look who's here. Hey, everyone. Here, this is for you. Uh, a small lamp grass? Yep, that's right. I tripped up on it this morning and took a little tumble. I did a full face plant, but somehow this little thing came out completely unscathed. That's when I knew it was destined to go into your wine mix. Bennett, how did you manage to trip up on a small lamp grass? Huh, that's true. They do glow after all. Uh, to be fair, they only glow at night. No, no. I wasn't talking about the glowing. What I meant was they're really big and easy to spot. So I don't get how you didn't see it. Uh, <laughs> uh, I was just running too fast and got careless, I guess. Okay, I guess maybe I won't tell them about the other face plants that came after that. <clears throat> anyway, I've been all over the place trying to find Razor this morning. Oh, God. Everyone I asked told me I just missed him. Good thing I've caught up now. I can finally catch my breath. <laughs> what a trooper. Thanks. How did you know I need ingredients? Oh, that? Yeah, interesting story. This lady came to see Master Cyrus asking for the Adventurer Guild's support with the Vine Lace Fest. She said she was a librarian. Anyway, she mentioned your situation, too, and asked if we could help. Whoa! Lisa is doing some real work for once? <laughs> oh, so that was Lisa? People say she's crazy intelligent, but just doesn't go out much. First time I've ever seen her. I thought long and hard about what ingredients to pick, and came up with a load of suggestions that I was going to discuss with you. But then I realized that small lamp grass was clearly the best. It shines a light to guide the way for explorers in the dark. Doesn't that sound like a wonderful thing? Oh, apologies for the trouble. Ah, don't give me that. I get how you must be feeling about all of this. Besides, you gotta help out your friends, right? If my family, uh, well, my dad's ever needed help one day, I know you'd be there for me too. Yes. Can I help too? Please take me with you, please. I wanna join in. Mm -hmm. Please in high spirits today. She seems more excited by this festival than anyone. Bennett, before now, you never talk about your family. Uh, <laughs> well, that's because I never met my parents. I was raised by some of the older adventurers in the guild, so we're not exactly a typical family. But if you do want to hear about them, I can tell you some of my dad's stories. Hmm. Okay, I'll start with the most awesome one. Oh, Bennett. You can be Mommy's kid, just like Clee. My mom is super nice. She'll take great care of you. Mm -hmm. Huh? Oh, God. I really appreciate the thought, Clee, but I'm afraid I can't accept your offer. I already have my dads and all my friends. And let's not forget that I'm the leader of Benny's adventure team. You don't need to worry about me. Oh, okay. I got it. Um, then have this! Ooh. A jumpy donkey? Nope. Yeah! It's a lazy, dopey, jumpy dumpty that always dozes and never explodes. <laughs> I hope you guys can be best friends. I appreciate Are you sure? The saying yep. not exploding part. Jumpy dumpty will be happy to make a new friend, too. I'm also happy for you. I have to look for ingredients with the razor. Good idea! Maybe Clee will bring Bennett some good luck, and the adventure oh will go smoothly. Sorry, that's, that's and you funny. might just find some treasures you'd never noticed before. Of course, it's also highly possible that Clee will be the only one who gets lucky. 
still, on the flip side, Clee won't be getting into any trouble with Bennett there, and this way she'll still get to enjoy the Vinalisa Fest. Cool. Don't worry about a thing. We'll look after each other. Yay! Adventure! Treasure! Vinalisa Fest! Let's go! Let's go! <laughs> oh my god. I love the English VA for Clee. She is adorable. The voice is so adorable. Oh! Wait, but what about Wolfie? Wolfie, uh, I mean, Razor needs looking after. Honorary night, Paimon, you'd better take care of Razor, okay? Make sure he finds his mommy. <laughs> Cringe! That's all I gotta say for that. Leave it to us. Good luck. See you later, folks! I don't know if I should be concerned about this combo right here. Bennett and Klee. <sighs> it's so nice to see everyone in such a good mood. Oh, Paimon almost forgot the whole reason we came here! Razor, the Traveler and Paimon were just chatting about the ingredients Venti mentioned in his poem. We think that they're actually a description of the wine's characteristics. Plus, it seems like each of them means something special to one of the three big institutions in Mondstadt. So, if we talk to some people we know at each words. place, maybe we'll find what you're looking for. <sighs> What's wrong? Something on your mind? Do you want to talk about it? Yes. These days, I think a lot. I am not smart. Not like teacher. Not like traveler. But I still have to think. Everyone is ready to help, but some things I must do myself. I don't understand human father and mother, but I must find a way to understand. Maybe I can learn about other people's father and mother first, then think about my own father and mother. That's why I want to ask questions. That's great! Keep at it, and you'll definitely find the answer eventually. Never knew Bennett is like me. <laughs> when he talks about dads, his scent changes. Warm, like a bed of straw in the sun. Let's find more people to speak to. Yeah! We should head back into the city. Let's find a friendly face at the Church of Favonius. <laughs> yes, let's find Rosaria first. Hmm. The most friendliest face. Now, who does Razor know best at the church? Excuse me? I couldn't help but overhear you're about to head back into the city. Is that right? I'm waiting on a fruit cart from the city. It should be here now, but I'm getting worried that something may have happened on the way. But I can't leave the festival to check up on it. Would you be able to do me a huge favor and keep an eye out for the cart on your way back? Um, well, if it's on the way... Okay, we go. I go too. Everyone helps me. Now I have chance to help everyone. <laughs> That's wonderful. Thank you so much. Alright. Wait! Honorary Knight! And Paimon, the best guide in Tevat. I humbly beg for your assistance. Whoa! Did Paimon hear that right? Is Paimon finally starting to make a name for herself? Oh, wait. Haven't we met? Yes, in the main hall, the Knights of Avonia's headquarters. That's right! I am Bernhard, a member of the logistics company under Captain Hertha. Normally, I would hope to become better acquainted before asking for a favor like this, but time's running out, so I really have no choice. Please help me rescue the charity event. Rescue? The charity event? Oh, right! Master Jean mentioned that. So, what happened? Well, the Knights of Favonius wants to run a stall during the festival. The idea is for all profits from the sales to go to charity. Specifically, the funds will provide support to disadvantaged children and elderly citizens. We drew lots to decide whose job it would be, and as it happened, I was the lucky winner. 
I really didn't want to screw this up, so I asked all around for advice, but... My experience is in inventory and shipping. Now I'm supposed to run a whole shop, but it took me forever just to think of what to sell. I'm already completely out of my depth. And that is why I humbly beseech you to render your assistance. Everyone knows things that they struggle with. Yeah! Also, no need to be so formal. So, you said this is to help out the kids and old folks of Mondstadt, right? Sounds like a great cause! She's an honorary knight, and Paimon's a longtime friend of Avonius! We'll be more than happy to do our part! What do you need from us? Oh, I can't thank you enough. Right, let me get down to brass tacks. Before we can open shop, we need to amass a supply of fair brew jellies. This is the basic currency that we will use when running the stall. The wine merchants in the area are in dire need of raw ingredients for winemaking. Sell them raw ingredients, and they will pay you generously in fair brew jellies. Also, there are some international customers looking to purchase beverages in bulk during the Vine Lace Fest period. They're on the market for an agent to handle their purchase orders. In the interest of establishing a long-term business relationship, these customers are usually willing to offer a generous price, and there's also room for negotiation with the wine merchants. The price difference is ours to keep as commission, and you can cash that amount in for Fair Brew Jellies. So to sum up, our job is to sell ingredients to the wine merchants and place orders for the international customers, making sure to negotiate the price, right? Huh, sounds much easier than Paimon imagined. You're pretty good at this. R really Well, that's wonderful. I have one order here with me already. Uh, Mr. Shavir May from Sumeru wishes to purchase 50 crates of Fruits of the Festival. Jesus. These beverages can be bought from the Angel's share stand. Uh, the shopkeeper's name is Georg. He's a very nice man, but he won't be pushed around. Please consider the price carefully and try to reach a good deal with Georg. I should carry on setting up the stall now. Once you've gathered enough fair brew jellies, come back here and we'll take it from there. You won't need to worry about supplies for the shop. I'm already in contact with the suppliers, and they'll send everything over once the funds are in place. All right, sounds good. We'll find the funds and you sort out the shop. Hmm. This is an enormous help. Thank you both ever so much. <laughs> I was like really confused at this character design and now that seeing our post now it's interesting I'm sure he who knows that's the cat's tail place What is going on over here? This way. Oh! Paimon sees the cart, but what are these hilly trails doing here? Do they want some fresh fruit now, too? Mm -hmm. Alright, we're just gonna stand here and uh, watch this. Yeah, I was like, let's uh, immediately jump to this. I'm just curious something. Snow tuned. Ah, why? Why would you give him this? That is cursed. God, I would wear your name. Wow. joke. Save it for a bit. Whew. Finally! These hilly trolls are a little too obsessed with food for their own good. But never mind that. Are you okay? Did they hurt you? Phew. I'm fine, thanks to you. You were just in time. Any later and all you found here is a pile of pulp. And I don't think there'd be much left of the fruit either. Still waiting for you at the festival. Got it. Well, 
Thanks again. I'd better not delay this delivery any longer. So, goodbye and happy Vine Lace Fest. Oh, come on. Churls are a little too obsessed with food for their own good. But never mind that. Are you okay? Did they hurt you? Phew. I'm fine, thanks to you. You were just in time. Any later and all you found here is a pile of pulp. And I don't think there'd be much left of the fruit either. Got it. Well, thanks again. I'd better not delay this delivery any longer. So, goodbye and happy Vine Lace Fest. Thanks to you too, kiddo. <sighs> what is it, Razor? Enemy following. Enemy? <laughs> I think we're a little closer than that. <laughs> On some level, you could even say that we're brother and sister. Wait. Rosaria! What the heck are you doing here? Uh, wait. Actually, turning up at random places is pretty normal for you. <laughs> okay, next question. What the heck do you mean, brother and sister? Varka taught you how to use that sword, I take it. Swift, but powerful. <laughs> I can spot that old-timer's style anywhere. Uh, huh? I see you're not much of a talker. <laughs> well, there's something else you could learn from Varka. Never lost for words, even when he has nothing to say. It'd be good conversation practice for you. Just a shame we have no idea when I'll be back. It's okay. I will wait. Brother and sister? Varka? Oh, Paimon gets it. Varka is a father figure to both of them, so that makes them family. Just not by blood. Well, blood relations are overrated anyway, don't you think? Hard to say. I get it. In the final moments of your life, the people there with you won't necessarily be your blood relatives. Cold, dark, grown-up. You also don't remember what your real mother and real father look like? Huh. So you're helping him dig up some info on his biological parents. And trying to help him build a concept of family along the way. You could say that. Alright, you got me. I barely have any memories of my birth parents. The last time I saw them was long before I had any understanding of the world around me. But that seems pretty common. Even in this day and age, there are plenty of people in the world who can't stop thinking about their families, but will never get to see them. Anyway, if you're never gonna meet someone, it's not worth spending mental energy on them. It's more important to focus on the kind of person you want to become. No, you are wrong about this. Lupacol protect each other. Human family also important. Must care about them. Fine. So let's say you do find out who your parents were and they were saints. Or the opposite, they were complete monsters. What then? How would that affect your life choices? What would you do about it? Um... Whew, Rosaria's take is a little on the nose. That's a hard one for Razor to answer. But it's normal to be curious. Don't get me wrong, I'm not trying to make this any more difficult than it already is. But Razor's feeling lost and confused right now. And all the other Mondstatters we know are too sunny and bright to tell it like it really is. The sun nurtures many good things, but it can't do anything about the problems lurking in the shadows. Wow, Rosaria. 
All right, I'll leave it there. <laughs> Take this flower. It's icy cold, just like me. Hmm. Barbara's busy preparing the sung poetry event for the Vine Lace Fest. She couldn't get away, so I picked an ingredient out on behalf of the church. But can we really use a mist flower? Won't it freeze the entire barrel? Nope. No, not now that I've dealt with it. The bard did say to think freedom, didn't he? So go on, take it. It won't be a problem. Aw, Rosaria! You're more thoughtful than Paimon realized! <laughs> uh, wait! You heard the bard say that? Were you spying on us? <laughs> Thank you. Don't mention it. It's nothing. Varka's been a big help to me in the past, so just consider it returning a favor. Besides, if I'm your older sister, I might as well act like it. <laughs> Good luck finding your answers. Now you see her, now you don't. <laughs> I'm slowly getting used to her style. Oh, oh well, as love tender and true goes, that was pretty awkward, but still counts, right? Now that's left is the Knights of Avonius. <sighs> Razor, are you still thinking about what Rosaria said? Her words are like mist flower. They are cold, and they sting. But cold also good for wounds, like wolf hook. I need to think about it. Maybe then I will understand. It'll take some time. There's no need to rush it. Okay. I will come with you. I think while we walk. Anyway, to uh, quickly explain the pause and everything, uh, all of a sudden my internet just her went out for a moment. I thought I have another source of internet to connect to. So, yay! Technical problems! Woohoo! Also, I, won I felt like doing this joke because I saw the character's name. Rolf. Hello, Ed boy! <laughs> Can never think of that joke. Couldn't help. So you see, you're the best person for this. Oh, -ho, just in time. Lisa and I were just talking about Razor's situation. Where were we? Ah, yes. The barrel. Obviously, the nuts part is supposed to be a defender's will, but what kind of ingredient is a barrel? Honestly, that's not what he meant. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Paimon, don't worry. You'll get your ingredient. I've already tasked someone with sorting it out. The person is very conscientious and wants to properly research their contribution, so it may take some time, but hopefully it'll be worth the wait. As for the barrel, how else were you planning on mixing all the ingredients? Surely not in the giant cooking pot at Dada Upa Gorge. Ah, the memories. After much deliberation, I realized this was a job for the most sociable and savviest member in our ranks, the Cavalry Captain. So I asked him to take a trip to the Dawn Winery and somehow bring back a wine barrel. Uh, all right, spare me the flattery, Lisa. We're all friends here, and I know you're only trying to help your student. But I haven't been back there in a long time. This could be quite difficult to accomplish in just a single trip. Difficult? For you? Don't be silly. Negotiating is your biggest strength. 
Finlesafest is one of the most important festivals in Mondstadt, and you know how Diluc thinks better than anyone. Just drop a few little hints, like how this is the first festival Mondstadt has had in a long time. We're short on much-needed supplies for a multitude of reasons. Oh, who can help us? When he hears that, I guarantee you he'll offer to help out with finances and sourcing goods. Lisa's literally trying to extort Master D. Luke. <laughs> I'm not surprised there. I suppose. All right. I'll head out right away. Well, he didn't take much persuading. Oh, and Paimon was just about to thank Lisa for the things she's been doing for Razor behind the scenes. Oh, Paimon doesn't even know whose side to be on anymore. Mm. Traveler and teacher did a lot for me. A lot of work. But me, I still can't answer questions. So useless. Dear me, what's gotten you so upset, my little wolf cub? We can't have you being so down in the dumps. Maybe an information overload. Ah, I see. Hmm, cutie. How about you keep Kaya company while I stay here and help Razor process his feelings? As his teacher, I owe him some tutelage anyway. Come and collect him in a few days' time. The last ingredient should be ready by then as well. Splendid. I was just thinking about how nice it would be to have some company on my trip. I don't know what is right, but I trust teacher. I accept. It's a plan, then. Run along now, and don't forget to tell D. Luke that the Knights of Favonius send our regards. Yeah, because I'm sure he'll appreciate that one. My heart feels like rotten berries. So sour. I don't understand what I should do. Oh, all right. I'll teach you a very special magic trick that can make all your troubles disappear in the blink of an eye. But before we do that, let's warm up with something a little bit easier, hmm? Let's practice some talking. That way, the next time somebody helps you, or you have a different opinion from the rest of the group, you'll be able to express what you think clearly and precisely. Okay. I will do my best. Hmm. Yeah, technical problems up the wazoo. Joy. Whatever. Whatever. Like they say. Life ain't Take exactly easy. easy all the time. <laughs> Kaya, you're fond of a good drink, aren't you? My Lace of Us must be right up your alley. Uh, Kaya? Oh, I'm sorry. My mind was elsewhere. What was your question? Ugh. Never mind. Nothing that important. <laughs> Either way. Either way. I'm sure some people will be wondering why you do the uh, smear stuff, since that's the thing you should do. Uh, I fucked up. That's all. I want to do this first. So either way, I'm just gonna do this first and then we'll get to the story. We'll get to the chaos. Back to that. Either way. I'm just trying to do other stuff as what I'm trying to do right now for a moment to explain. Busy with other stuff, aka life, some college stuff, school in general so on well, trying to keep my sanity and not go lose it for a moment and try and keep myself in the high spirits and have the right motivation to do these recordings 
because some of these recordings take a bit out of me and trying to do them because I feel I'm constantly at my ridiculing myself for this stuff for what I do for lack of commentary lack of anything energy or motivation but when I'm actually doing these I feel motivation and everything so either way just put this uh, I think the best words I can't think the best words to describe this I'm just trying to find the right energy to have for these videos it's not that I'm getting bored of these it's just you know trying to have that right mindset for doing this stuff either way all right get back to this and like I said probably in the future I'll try and do more stuff as variety for the channel it's just give me time it's not gonna be easy i would have to adjust to a whole different s schedule and figure everything out with time but either way let's get back to i this. got a new letter from an informant <sighs> I was just wondering who'd be coming all the way out here during the Vine Laser Fest. So, it's you two. <sighs> and you, too. Brr, so cold. Almost enough to make me feel unwelcome here, Master D. Luke. Don't forget that this is my home, too. I'm fairly certain that taking a trip home during festival season is a universal custom, common to all the cultures of Tevat. Please get to the point. The point is one that you've already raised yourself, the Vinlesa Fest. To celebrate this long-awaited festival, the Acting Grand Master has been coordinating with both the Church and the Adventurers Guild to host a series of events. Unfortunately, given the financial situation of the Knights of Favonius, well, I'm sure you can imagine. And the Knights of Favonius's woes have what exactly to do with me? Hey, no need to be so cruel. Even I'm not going to take that. Everyone's just doing the best they can for Mondstadt. Now, I can't remember the last time I tasted Don Winery's Vinlesa Fest special. And I'm sure the Mondstadt populace would echo this sentiment. Are you going to deny others the opportunity to drink to their heart's content just because you don't like to drink yourself? Check it out! Kai is not so subtly asking for freebies. He's actually doing it. What a guy. Anyway, speaking of the knights, everyone dearly hopes that you'll rejoin our ranks again one day. Then we'll be one big happy family again. If we were able to enjoy the sterling reputation of Master Diluc, my, I'm sure people would be queuing for our charity booth all the way to Falcon Coast. <sighs> That Give that silver line. tongue of yours a rest. You might need it to maintain public order at the festival. Duly noted on the financial issues you raised. I'll have Elzer follow up with Hertha in more detail. And I just so happen to have a batch of wine that I can offer as a token of appreciation to everyone that has been working so hard for the festival. Shall I address it to you personally? That would be an absurd request, even for me. The words, with compliments from the Dawn Winery, ought never be preceded by, to the cavalry captain. Is that not the unwritten rule? You're better informed than I thought. In that case, I will leave this with Adeline and keep everything anonymous. I really can't thank you enough. Master Diluc is so generous! That's all Paimon needs to get that warm, fuzzy feeling. <sighs> Which is just as well, since she won't be allowed to drink a drop. Huh. Are you two here regarding the Vine Laser Fest, too? Okay, I don't know what that noise is. You're here about Razor. Poor Razor. He grew up so fast. 
and he's still looking for his father. Master Diluc, we really ought to lend him a hand. How come Klee said he's looking for his mom, but Kaya says he's looking for his dad? It might make more sense to them, but it's gonna get confusing for everyone else. It's okay. I understand. We have a spare barrel in the winery. It's a little old, but it's been specially treated for durability. You could leave it next to a flaming flower all day and there wouldn't be a scratch. I think that one should satisfy your needs. Sounds great! We'll take it! When can we come fetch it? No need. I'll have someone deliver it to the festival market. Just collect it from the Angel's share stand. Aw, you always make things so nice and easy for us, Master Diluc. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Razor will really appreciate it. You're more than welcome. Helping each other is what friends do. Wonderful. Always eager to help, and never forgets to return a favor. That's the Master Diluc I know. Oh, it's nearly dinner time. Uh, would you care to stay for a meal? How time flies. I'll be on my way then. <laughs> How did you put it? Ah, oh, yes. Taking a trip home during festival season is a universal custom, common to all the cultures of Tevat. Now that even Master Diluc has made an offer, are you quite sure you won't stay for a meal after coming all this way, Master Kaya? I couldn't possibly, Adeland. I wouldn't want to trouble you. Oh, don't say that. How often do I get a chance to indulge my dear Master Kaya, hmm? Tea for the cavalry captain when you visit in an official capacity doesn't count. I only get to spoil you if you let me cook for you. Oh, uh... Hmm. Well then, what happened to your swagger? Lost for words? <laughs> Diluc, you... Surely you wouldn't dream of disappointing Adeland. More the merrier. All right, then. I'll take you up on the offer. Adeland, one more set of cutlery, please, if you'd be so kind. <laughs> Ooh, Paimon's so full. Adeline's cooking is amazing. Everything looked and tasted so beautiful. Thank you for your hospitality. Glad you liked it. You're welcome to join again anytime. <laughs> oh? Then I may have to tag along on the traveler's adventures more often in the future. Ugh, Don't you have a job to do? Is back to his usual ways. All right, now that our task is complete and our bellies are full, it's time for me to get back to work. Take care, Master Kaya. Have a safe trip back. We should get going as well. Lisa's taking care of Razor, but the Violets of Fest can't do without us. See you next time, Master Diluc. Indeed. Goodbye. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. If there was some buzzing noise, I am very sorry for the buzzing noise. I don't know where that came from. Oh, I forgot about this music. There. I forgot about this music so much. Check something real quick. Be right back. Alright. Now let's double check it something. I don't know where that was. If it was buzzing noise or popping noise. Lisa said that the Knights of Avonius would help us get ingredients for Razor's wine, right? They should probably be ready by now. Let's go check! Like I said earlier, I definitely want to try and do more variety. It's just setting aside time to do it. To actually record stuff. Like, there's other games I want to play. And I definitely want to do streaming. It's just 
having the proper internet is the problem. And right now I'm kind of going through some stuff to trying to figure out my whole internet situation. That's all. But don't worry, I'll figure it out. It's more my per more my problem. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you see me. Like I said, there's other games I want to play and actually like properly like have videos on. Like there's probably five or six games in total I want to actually, you know, record. Other for other games. But I'm just not. I'm just like, how will those go? How much of a train wreck will those be for audio? I'll figure it out. Also, I didn't even realize I needed to head over here. Hmm. Hyman wonders how Razor's class has been going. Uh, Sucrose, wait! Uh, honorary Knight, Paimon, please stop her! Whoa! You scared! Paimon! What's gotten the two of you so worked up? Sucrose and I agreed to present the wine ingredient to you together. But when she heard that Razor will be showing up, she insisted that she won't spend a moment longer here than she has to. I... I'm not good at dealing with strangers. Anyway, as long as the ingredient gets into the right hands, that's all that matters. Oh, that won't do! We worked on this together, and we should present it together. I can't take credit for what you did. It's not about the credit. Wait, so does this mean the Knights of Avonius's ingredient is a product of bioalchemy? Yes, it's a quadruple sweetness sunsetia. Mm. Quadruple sweetness? Jesus. But aren't regular ones sweet enough as it is? Also, why is Sincerea? Okay, um, let me give you the full story. I love the scent of wine, and after reading up on the art of winemaking, I have grasped some of the key principles. In short, whatever ingredients you use, it's essential to include something sweet. In an attempt to select the most suitable ingredient, I gathered samples of all the sweet plants and fruits I could find in the Mondstadt area. Then, I tried them all in turn and took detailed notes. I also factored in the differences between the same ingredient grown in different locations. For instance, sweet flowers from Springvale are a little sweeter than those at Cape Oath. Wow, that sounds like a lot of work. It was no problem at all. Just my duty as a maid of Favonius. The chance to source the Defender's will on behalf of the Knights of Favonius is a huge honor for me. Noel, your eyes are sparkling. But Paimon thinks it could be because of Lisa's brainwashing. Come on, shush. Um, anyway, I, I was worried that my evaluation would be too subjective if only I were involved. Thankfully, I ran into Sucrose the other day on her way out of the lab. Oh no! What is it, Sucrose? I just remembered why I left the lab that day. I was supposed to go and fetch some lab equipment we imported recently. Oh. Uh-oh. That look on your face seems to say you forgot all about it and have been in the lab this whole time. Yeah, exactly. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh. <sighs> Don't worry about it. It's my fault, really. I'll go and see Marjorie about the equipment shortly. Carry on, Noel. Oh, okay. Anyway, Sucrose is a true professional when it comes to this kind of research. I showed her my list, and she made some extremely valuable suggestions. Please, you don't need to go out of your way to compliment me. Noel filled me in on the background of the whole situation. I was moved to see how seriously she took this task even though she'd never even met Razor before. However, 
None of the potential ingredients she had identified were perfect candidates, in my opinion. What we needed was a fruit high in sugar and easily fermentable. After a final look at Noel's list, I picked this Ansetia sample from near Cider Lake as a basis, with a view to improving it. Using bioalchemical techniques, we were able to amplify the sweetness, then conduct a few tests to compare the results against the benchmarks. Watching Sucrose work on an experiment when she's in the zone blew me away. Such focus and determination. I, I already said don't compliment me. Anyway, the result of our research is the Epsilon series Tetrasweet Sensidia, Variation 63. And it's finally ready. The sweetness has been verified through rigorous testing, and the size and color are both optimal too. Noel shortened the name to Quadruple Sweetness Sensidia. Unfortunately, it can't be produced on a very large scale under the current conditions. But as long as we have enough for Razor. This is more than sufficient. Traveler, there's something else I'd like to share with you. Growing up, I was lucky. I was never the best at dealing with other people, but my parents never placed any expectations on me. They never said to me, you need to be more sociable or anything like that. They just said I should do what I enjoy. So, I'm well aware that I'm one of the lucky ones. I haven't lived Razor's life, and I can't pretend to imagine what it must have been like. So, I don't know how much it will mean coming from me, but I truly hope he can find happiness and spend his life doing what he loves. Oh, Sucrose. Sorry, I am late again. Teacher forgot about the time. I kept talking and talking. That's all right. We were just chatting. Whoa, deja vu. Paimon said the exact same thing two days ago. Uh, wait a sec. Where did Sucrose go? Wow, she disappeared the moment he opened the door. Hello, I'm Noelle, maid of the Knights of Favonius. Hi. Here's our ingredient for you. Oh, but I can't take full credit for it. I had help from an alchemist, but right now... She, um... She's a little busy with work. Right, yes. It's a shame she couldn't be here to present it to you in person. <sighs> Smells like potion, nectar, and animal crystal fly, right? Wow. Nothing gets past your nose, does it? This Sunsetia is sweeter than ones I have smelled before. Klee said alchemy is amazing. It can make things better. That's right. I hope that this sweet fruit will help you brew the sweetest wine. The alchemist girl also had a message to pass on. Thank you all. When she has time, I want to thank her also. Leave that to me. I'll figure out a way to persuade her to, uh, to not work so hard all the time so that I can introduce you to each other. <laughs> okay, I will wait. All right, now that we have all the ingredients, we can finally start making the wine. For that, we'll need a barrel, which, if Paimon remembers correctly, is waiting for us at the Angel Share Stand. Bye, Noel. We're gonna head off now. Good luck with everything. See you next time. Overall, I think this task was a success. Oh no! Sucrose's lab equipment! I should go help her carry it! Mm. Just curious. Take it easy. Oops. Why are you right here by the door? You bastard. Let's make some wine. Alright. Oh, hey, Diana. Shoot me, bro. 
run into you at the Cat's Tail stand sometime, but so far, we haven't seen you all festival. Ooh, traitors. Is this her first time being in an event? Oh, yeah, I think this is. <gasps> Cree told me the whole story. So, this bright idea was a brainchild of you two? Hmm. How could you? Razor is daddy's friend. And he was a good influence. Right up until you got him interested in wine. I think you <sighs> Razor. You better promise me that you won't turn into one of those old booze hounds that drinks themselves silly slumps over the bar and bursts into tears. I, uh, I don't understand. Yeah. Sounds like there's been some crossed wires here. Clee, what exactly did you say to Diona? Um, I told her that Razor's looking for his mommy with the honorary knight's help, and you both seemed really sad and said you needed some wine so maybe Diona could help. But before I finished, Diona said, Clee, say no more. I'm getting involved in this if it's the last thing I do. And then we came here. <laughs> okay. Uh... Sentiments uh, and sad. Okay. Paimon doesn't even know where to start. Um, Diona, it sounds like Klee left out a few important details in the story. Let us set the record straight. So you're saying Razor wants to make the same wine that his mother and father once made? So he can learn more about them? Hmm. You better not be making this up to try to pull the wool over my eyes. <laughs> No way. Sorry, Diona. It was all Clee's fault for not explaining it properly. So, are you still mad? Or can you help Razor make the wine? I caught a bunch of fish for us to eat. Mm. Um, and you can pack Dodoko too if you want. <laughs> I, I wasn't that angry. She sure We're just trying like to it. help. I understand. I just don't want Razor being led astray, that's all. That's why I may have raised my voice a little bit just now. <clears throat> well, since none of you plan on drinking it, then I suppose I can help you just this once, despite my reservations. But I need you to know that I'm a mixer, not a brewer. So I'm used to working with the finished product. If you really want me to start with a bunch of raw ingredients, eh, that's fine. But I can't make any promises about how it'll turn out. Yay! Diona is the best! <laughs> Don't worry, Diana. You got this. <laughs> bunch of flatterers. Now watch this. All done! That was quick! Now we just need to find a place to store it. We wait, wait for a windier day. Hmm. Does that mean we need to put it somewhere exposed to the wind? Maybe wind rise? Very windy. Yep. If you say the word windy, that's the first place on every Monstatter's mind. Cool. I want to come too. I have to keep an eye on my foolish father, so... I won't be joining you. Mm, understandable. Please, come and play again some other time. I will, I promise. Aw, that's adorable. Please tell me they will add, later add voice lines pertaining to these, all these character interactions now. Is that that? I don't even think. Huh. I'm just curious. No? Man. 
But, who knows, maybe a future update they'll allow these kind of interactions to be noticed. What the? Where did y'all come from? Deja vu. Ah, what a curious coincidence meeting you here. Don't get bored. What are you doing here? Well, I awoke to the most magnificent aroma in the air. After following the sweet scent of fresh fruit to its source, this is where I ended up. Yeah, the fruit are super fresh and super duper sweet. I can smell it as well. <laughs> There's another reason, isn't there? Yes! Oh, uh, I remembered something important. Something that you have to do before sealing the barrel and burying it in the ground. What? We missed something? Razor, do you still remember the scent of that half bottle of Thousand Wind wine? I believe there was a hint of bitterness in there? Yes, there was. <laughs> and with very good reason, too. The source? This! Dandelion seeds? You're familiar with dandelion wine, right? Well, the people of Mondstadt believe that the wind can bring back the soul, and also preserve memories. Dandelion seeds are like living gemstones, formed from the first wisps of wind in the year. People add them to the mix at the last second as a way of capturing the wind in the very moment that the barrel is sealed. The memory of that moment is then stored in the wine for all time. So, Thousand Wind Wine is the original dandelion wine. Wow. That's interesting. That's so cool! So now our story will be made into wine too! As for why it always has a different scent, well... That's because people have the freedom to include whatever ingredients they want. <laughs> what is it, Razor? What you thinking about? In Mother and Father's wine, I can smell dandelion seeds. But I don't know what else. In my wine, there is a lot of friendship. I still don't understand my mother and father, but I still have you. And everyone else. Everyone has done so much for me. Farka, Teacher, Clee, Bennett, Uncle Brown Cat, Cold Lady, Grown Up with Fake Smile. Gray Tough Girl, Person That Smells Like Animal Crystal Fly, Uncle Brown Cat's Daughter, Green Bard, Paimon, and Traveler. <laughs> I remember everyone. Those, Making those wine is things. hard work. Making this wine needed everyone working together. Hard work with friends? Not so hard after all. I'm... I'm so happy. We're all glad to help. Thank you. Friends are also Lupical. Whether I'm human or I'm wolf, it doesn't matter. From now on, all of us are together. When I grow up, we will come back here and we will open this wine together. <laughs> what a magnificent monologue. Even as a bard, I don't feel like there's anything else to add. All that remains now is to bury the barrel and wait, wait for the fruit to ferment. Feels like a celebration is in order. Um, if Paimon remembers correctly, tomorrow should be wind coming day, right? Wow! The animal god is coming home! <laughs> <laughs> uh, that reminds me. I haven't memorized the song for the toasting ceremony yet. <laughs> I'd better get back. Friends, I shall see you all tomorrow. Get a good night's sleep tonight. Wait for the whisper of the gentle breeze to rouse you tomorrow morning, then come and enjoy a performance by the greatest bard to ever grace the streets of Mondstadt. Mm -hmm. Razor. 
treasure. You were so cool back there. Cool. But inside, I feel warm. <laughs> <laughs> no, not like that. When you think something's awesome, you can say it's cool or sweet. Oh. Hmm. But I think Clea is sweet. Mm. Aw, that's adorable. I think it said two days, which... Following day, yep. Tradition holds that the finest wine of the Vinelesa Fest only goes on sale after the Animo Archon has tasted it at the toasting ceremony. Everyone's waiting in line for the big moment. Ugh. So welcoming the Animo Archon back is just a means to an end for them, huh? What about you, Lisa? Are you here for Razor? Yes, I was feeling a little concerned about him, but I just spoke with him, and he tells me that the winemaking went very smoothly. Ah, <sighs> such a relief. A glass of the festival's finest will go down smoothly now, too. Wow, you too, huh? <laughs> Razor and the others are over there. You should go say hi. <laughs> hey, hey! There you are! Whoa! What's with all these bottles? Selling your own homebrew now? <laughs> These are for Razor, from us. Mommy said that everyone's welcoming the animal god today, and we need to give him some wine. If the animal god likes the wine, he'll turn into the wind and bless everyone. We want the animal god to be happy, so he helps Razor. <laughs> Oh, honorary knight! Look what Albedo let me borrow. Uh-oh. This bottle is from my dad. Luckily, I managed not to break it on the way here. <laughs> uh, it's just for show, though. I have to give it back to them afterwards. Mommy said that the animal god can drink a lot of wine. She said if he wanted to, he could drink the whole of Cider Lake in one big gulp. So, do you... Think we'd have enough between these and the wine raiser's parents left behind? Ah, Green Bard. Uh -uh. Everyone, I am greatly honored to be able to be here today. I have been invited by Acting Grandmaster Jean of the Knights of Favonius to perform a piece for everyone. Thousand Wind Wine. It is some of the finest verse I know. I dedicate it to the wind and to everyone here with us today. Fill up the barrels and store them away. Then wait, wait for a windier day. Wax the bottles, seal them tight. For the south wind that soothes, for the north wind that bites. How does this fine wine taste to the tongue? As Mondstadt to the ear, like a sweet dream of freedom. And what are the fruits that went into the brew? An explorer's courage, a love tender and true. 
A defender's will, strong as yesteryear, joining the thousand winds in a song of good cheer, turning sour into sweet, bitter notes fade away as we wait, wait for a windier day. Pray tell, what treasure does this barrel hold? Tis wheat's greatest triumph, the true liquid gold. As it flows from the keg, what sound drifts by? Wind chimes in the boundless immemorial sky. We raise up our glasses and voices in song as we wait, wait for the wind to sing along. Where do we turn once the thousand winds take flight? To the tales of the lyre, to the sweet dream of tonight. Dear friends, let us now open the wines. To the Animal Archon! To the Animal Archon. Animo Archon. <laughs> um, there's no wind. Don't feel sad, Clee. But why didn't he come? If the animal god didn't come home, is it because he doesn't like the wine we brought for him? I don't think so. Of course not. You know, Clee, the wind isn't the only form that the animal Archon can turn into. He can turn into anything. So today, he must have come back looking like something else. Huh? Really? Maybe he turned into a Jumpy Dumpty. <laughs> sure, Jumpy Dumpty it is. Hope you're listening, Animal Archon. <laughs> Racer, wink, wink, did the nice Animal dodge. Archon bring you a blessing? Yes. I talked a lot with you all, and I learned a lot. Now, I am not afraid. I think that is a blessing. Don't forget to save me a glass of your wine once it's finished fermenting. Remind us of this moment. Yes. We share together, and we remember together. Yay! <laughs> but now I'm getting thirsty. We've all done a lot of talking. Let's go get something to drink, shall we? I heard that the Angel Share is selling a new drink called Fruits of the Festival. Everyone's saying it's delicious. <gasps> I want some! I want some! Okay, everyone. Let's go. Take this, crush it, and place it on the fracture. Listen, Missy. Promise me you'll live on. This is where you must stay. You are our only hope. Forgive me, Kaya. Very good. That's my boy. I will always be proud of you. <sighs> After all the time we spent on it, the wine still isn't ready. <laughs> May as well leave it for our son. Razor. What do you think of that name? Oh, an adventurer's name. Yes. I like it. Razor! Razor! Come on! <laughs> hmm. <laughs> <laughs>
Sorry, I need to catch my breath for a moment. That is so heartfelt. That that was awesome. Seeing this event, I was like, there is something going on and I cannot wait for this. Oh, that is awesome. That was an awesome event. That's a fun one. I feel like they always, even with events like these, feel like that they are throwaways, but they're always good ones. That way, a fun event. Either way. Ow. <laughs> oh, that's it for now. I will probably be back with the actual sumo stuff. Either way. Catch y'all later.